So once you have your port account set up and you've passed your daily check, uh, you're going to touch the fit test icon on the main screen of the port account. So this is going to prompt you to select the database that you're going to save everything to. So you'll just touch the drop down menu button, select your database, and press the load button. So once it loads up, you press exit, get the tubing connected to the respirator. And it's going to have you pick the person who's going to be tested. So you just select them from the drop down menu, press the next button. Then the port account will prompt you to select a respirator, so pick the respirator that they're wearing and touch the next button. And the last thing the port account is going to have you select is the protocol that you're going to test with. Um, so most people are going to use OSHA. You'll need to enter the mask size, which is a medium for us. And the operator, I'm going to put my initials. And then I'm going to hit the next button. So that's going to get us to the fit test screen. So you just press the start button and it's going to run through a few different exercises. The first one is normal breathing. So you're just going to relax and just breathe normally. Um, as it goes through each exercise on the fit test, it will tell you the fit factor for that portion of the test. Uh, it's going to go through different breathing exercises as well as have you move around to um, try to break a seal on the mask. So once it goes through the normal breathing portion, it's going to have you do deep breathing. And deep breathing is just going to be heavier breathing as if you're working heavily. You don't want to overdo it because that can change the results of your fit test. Once the deep breathing portion finishes up, we're going to move on to the head side to side exercise. So I'm going to have Nolan here tilt his head from the left to the right, trying to touch his ear to his shoulder and pausing for a second at each point on the side. And the reason for the movements here is to make sure that when you're using a mask uh, and you're working, you're able to move around without it leaking. And through this portion, he's just going to breathe normally, comfortably, staying relaxed.
So now at the head up and down portion of the test, he's going to maintain his normal breathing practices, but tilting his head as far back and as far forward as he can. After this portion of the test is the talking portion of the test where they want you to either read from the manual or just speak using a variety of words so that your mouth and jaw move. Um, and again, this is just to make sure that uh, when you're talking and wearing the mask, you don't get any leaks. When the sunlight strikes the raindrops in the air. So he's just reading the rainbow passage out of the manual. The rainbow is a vision of white light that is many beautiful colors. These take the shape of a long round arch. With a path high above, there's two eyes apparently beyond the horizon. There is, according to a legend, a boiling pot of gold at one end. People look, but no one ever finds it. When a man looks for something beyond his reach, his friends say he is looking for a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And I will continue to talk until this phase of the test is complete. And even if uh, you finish the passage before this portion of the test is over, you can continue talking just to make sure you have consistent results for the duration of the exercise. Once it finishes, it's going to have you do a grimace, so you can just make, uh, you know, like a snarling face or just a disgusted look, something like that. And that's just going to go through really quick. So now he's going to bend over. So he's going to bend at the hips and just let him let his uh, head hang for the duration of this exercise. He's going to breathe normally, not overworking, um, just relaxed and breathing normally. So once this portion finishes up here, it's going to go back into the normal breathing, just as a final check that, uh, you know, after doing some work, he's able to breathe normally and still have a nice tight fit on the mask. So once this portion finishes up, it's going to give you the overall fit factor and finish out the test. So now that it's finished, it's going to save the results onto the database that you selected. So we can go ahead and disconnect the clear tube from the respirator, and you can go ahead and remove the mask.
and that's how you run a fit test on the TSI port account.